welcome to Lola's Corner. <laughs> um, I have no idea what I want to talk about on this video, but I want to be forcing myself to just come on here and say something. <laughs> Um, because the truth of the matter is I'm waiting for the perfect time to start my YouTube channel and the truth of the matter is there, there, there is no perfect time, there's no perfect setup, there's no perfect topic, there's no perfect makeup, there's no perfect hair, there's no perfect anything to get started and I realized that all of the things in my head as to you know, when I'm planning to start, they're all just really excuses. So, um, like I said, I don't have anything in particular that I want to talk about, but I guess I can use this opportunity to say that um, I really would like to just start making small, short videos like I have previously and stop, but hopefully to continue. I want to have a corner on YouTube and that's the blessing about YouTube is really you can build whatever community you want um, and people that like you, that like your voice, like your face, like what you talk about, like your content will come to your corner of YouTube and, um, and they enjoy you and they enjoy watching you no matter what you put out, no matter what you look like, no matter what you sound like. And so that's what I really want to build is to just build a corner, Lola's Corner, where people that get me, people that like me can come and we can chop it up, talk it up about whatever we want to talk about. Um, there are just so many different topics that come to mind that I really just want to, like I said, have my own corner to come and talk about and vent about. Um, and I just hope that as time goes on, I can just hop on YouTube and just record and upload. I'm not going to put too much pressure on myself about editing videos. I'm just not in the space for that. I'm not in the space for that. Um, and so my goal is just going to be to just record a one shot and go. I apologize that the phone keeps moving. I am driving. Um, a one shot and go, take it as it is type of thing. But since I'm here, I'll go ahead and talk about one of the topics that I've been wanting to speak on. And that's um, this uh, movement of black women, especially dark skinned women, um, kind of not wanting to be, uh, so, so I'll pre- I'll preface what I want to say by there was a post made by Colin Kaepernick, I believe is his name. He posted a flyer picture on Instagram, um, pretty much saying that we want to abolish the police officers because of all the trauma and violence that they um, impose on the black community. And on that flyer was a picture of a black woman, a darker skinned black woman with an afro. Uh, holding up a sign saying, you know, abolish the police, et cetera, et cetera. And unfortunately, even though I think he had great intentions, uh, a lot of the comments were saying how black women do not want to be the face of this movement um, because we, as black women, especially darker skinned black women, feel as if we are constantly, you know, being made out to be the heroes and the fighters and we're at the front lines and this, that, and the third. And we don't want to be that anymore, especially because black women, especially darker skinned women, uh, don't feel, did y'all catch that? Okay. Don't feel uh, protected. Um, by black uh, by black men, black women, especially darker skinned women, do not feel protected by black men, and um, they black women no longer want to be on the front lines fighting for them and fighting for their rights and protecting them and nurturing them and doing all these things for them, 
and um, I would have to say that I agree I don't think that we don't want to do those things anymore but I would say we would like to not be the face of it imagery and uh, what's the word I'm looking for social media such and, and the way things are portrayed it's, it's so powerful now more than ever it's always been powerful but now more than ever because of social media the way things are portrayed and the things that we see every day that are being ingrained in our mind it's very important to pay attention to it because it really does dictate the way we move in the world the way we're treated and so if you're using the face of a black woman constantly as an image of fighters constantly as an image of we take up for you and we're strong black women and we're going to be on the front lines for you and we're angry we're this angry black woman if that's what's continuously shown and promoted in social media that is going to eventually reflect how we are treated in real life as the angry black woman, as the person that wants to fight, as the outspoken person, blah, blah, blah. And we don't want to have to feel that in our day-to-day -day life. It's one thing to be on social media to be viewed that way, but it's another thing to actually be treated that way. And we already get treated that way, and we don't want it to be made worse by you guys continuously using our image. Especially when black men supposedly are not protecting black women. And I don't say supposedly to, to, to you know, insinuate that I don't agree. To a certain degree, I definitely do uh, agree. Um, but stop using black women, especially darker skinned women's face, as the mascot for strength, for, you know, anger, for fighting, for speaking up. We would like to sit in the background and be pampered like other groups of women are. Um, and, and like I said, this I'm just talking about this because I noticed that this is a movement that's happening. There are YouTube channels out there of women. Chrissy is one of them that I've stumbled across on YouTube who talks about black woman code. And maybe I'll go into detail and talk about that later. But you know saying that black women need to move a certain way black women need to think a certain way black women need to stop protecting black men because they're not protecting us you know just a bunch of little stuff that she talks and preaches about and when i first heard it i was kind of like mm. but the more i listen to her the more i think she has a point um like i you know i'm just fyi i'm happily married um i love my life and i'm not promoting or denouncing any of this. I'm simply just talking about something that I have noticed um, on social media and on YouTube. Anyways, um, that's pretty much it. I do want to say that I agree that we should no longer be the mascot for these type of things and other people should step up and be the mascot for it and allow us to just sit in the background and rest you know we deserve to rest anyways i am almost at work i hope you guys enjoy me ranting about my thoughts lola's voice in lola's corner i hope i get a group of people who do not mind coming over to my corner and engaging in dialogue with me because i realize that in dialogue there is a lot to learn you learn a lot when you when you talk to people you get so many different perspectives and i think in life you know there's nothing new under the sun so when you're talking and discussing something there are thousands and millions of other people that can really really relate so that's what this corner is for um anyways i am almost at work i hope i continue to come on here and just talk about what i want to talk about without thinking too hard into it uh because i definitely think too hard into it and for 10 years that has stopped me from more than 10 years at this point stopped me from doing what i want to do
and so I want to stop that. I want to just come on here. That's all you're doing, Lola, is coming on here to talk. That's it. And whoever sees it, sees it, you know, and you're not harming anybody. This is me, you know, giving myself prep, prep talk. You're not harming anybody. Just come on here and say what you want to say. Um, anyways, by God's grace with time, I won't be talking to myself much longer. And there will be thousands and millions of other people in the other line listening to me share my thoughts. And hopefully we can engage in dialogue at some point. That's it. Take care.